it's Tuesday, and I have a lot to fit in today, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with Kimmer's challenge, and her challenge was for us to measure ourselves. I really like this challenge because it's something I've actually been doing since the beginning of January. I've been writing down my measurements at the beginning of every month in my food journal. Addie, did you do your food journal today? I'm just going to give you, I didn't re-measure myself for this, but I'm just going to give you what my progress has been since the beginning, and I'll put my numbers that I started with and what I'm at now or what I was at the beginning of March in the sidebar so that you guys can all actually see the numbers. But so far I have lost about an inch off my waist, two inches off my hips, I think it's been an inch and a half off my thigh, and my upper arms has been about an inch also. So it really makes me happy to see those numbers and see the numbers getting smaller every month. I only like to measure myself once a month because then you see more of a difference. For me, it's just nicer to see a whole inch come off in a month than it is to see a quarter inch come off every week. I don't know why. I just, I prefer to see it big picture. The next question we had was from Leah. And she wanted to know what, what song we like to work out to. My song is kind of an older one, but it's All American Rejects' Dirty Little Secret. I don't know what it is about that song, but when it comes on, it just gets me moving and I just, it's got a good rhythm and a good beat that I can run to. My suggestion for you guys, if you're looking for a song that's got a good beat to keep you moving, All American Rejects Dirty Little Secret. So I wanted to talk today about setting goals for yourself. I personally like to set myself mini goals. Now I do have an overall goal that I like to achieve, but sometimes when you set really big goals for yourself, you get discouraged really easily because you're not reaching those goals as fast as you'd like. So I like to set myself mini goals. I started off at 223 pounds at the beginning of January. My first goal is to get under 200 pounds. And I'm pretty close to that. This morning when I got on the scale, I was 204.6. So I'm less than 5 pounds away from my first goal. And I'm very excited about it. And I, it makes me feel so good to know that I'm almost there. I haven't been under 200 pounds in about five years. So to reach under 200 pounds is a huge deal for me. After that, then I'll focus on trying to get down to like 175 or 180. Because that's about where I was when I graduated from high school. I look back at myself from those days and I like the pictures that I have. I like the way I look in those pictures, at least compared to what I have now. I would be happy if I got down to 175 pounds and that was all the farther I could get. But after I reach 175, then I'm going to focus on trying to get down to what is considered a healthy weight for my BMI. I'm five foot six, so technically a healthy weight is about 155 or 150. So if I can get down to that, that would be absolutely great. But right now I'm focusing on getting under 200 pounds and then after that, then I'll worry about 175 and then I'll worry about 150. And once I hit one of those goals, then I'm gonna do something to reward myself. I'm thinking about going to get a pedicure you know, after I get under 200 pounds because that's something I enjoy, but I'm not normally one to spend money on something like a pedicure. Another thing I like to do, just to kind of help and see your progress, is to go shopping just to try things on. Because, I don't know about you, but I love going into a store and trying on a pair of pants that are the size that I thought I was and have them be too big. Just don't reward yourself with food, because that kind of develops a little bit of an unhealthy relationship with food. And your goals don't also necessarily have to be weight related or size related. I know there's a lot of people on Fitting It In that are just fitting it in to be healthier. Because they might already be at a healthy weight, but if they're not physically fit or they're not eating healthily, they can still be at risk for different medical issues. So your, your goals could be things like you want to be able to run a mile or walk up a flight of steps without feeling out of breath or run around the yard with your kids without getting tired. Or it could be medical things like getting your blood pressure down or lowering your cholesterol or triglycerides. Any of those goals are great things to work towards. And just set yourself small goals, you know, a mile at a time or a flight of steps at a time. Whatever it is to help you see those goals being reached and help you get motivated to go even farther because you've already met one goal, what, why can't you meet another one? I hope everybody has a great week 
and don't forget to go to fittingitin.ning.com. Addie, I will see you tomorrow.